Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs and tutorials here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Happy day before Thanksgiving. I have some last minute ideas for you that hopefully you have all these supplies around your house already. You can gather them up and use them as part of new traditions or gatherings or holiday dinners this Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead and get started. So the idea behind this first project is really, really simple. I thought it'd be nice to have a little sign that you could put in an entryway or on a tabletop for a display where your guests could sort of clip on all of the things that they are thankful for. So this sign right here is from Dollar Tree. And if you can't find these, you could even use a one by two or a two by two little scrap piece. They are really, really inexpensive. You can get those at the hardware store for like a dollar, under two dollars, even for a big giant eight foot long one. So even if you can't find this, there's alternatives that are still really, really inexpensive and they'll even cut it down for you at the hardware store if you need them to. Um, I also have some of these smaller wooden clothespins from Dollar Tree. And then I have a black marker, scissors, hot glue gun. I have some different cardstock out for the little clip signs. And then also my paper trimmer. So the first thing I need to do here is just glue my clothespins onto the back. And now I decided to go with the craft paper for this just to make it look a little more fall-like. And I'm just gonna cut little rectangles for our words to go on so we can clip them onto the clothespins. And now a banner is also a really, really great way to not only have a pretty decor piece and activity for your guests, but also a nice way to display all the things that everyone is thankful and grateful for. Now this is a banner I made earlier in the fall using Dollar Tree supplies. I will link that up in the iCards and in the description box below. They are basically made with wood pieces from the Dollar Tree. And in that tutorial, I show you how to make it look like a shiplap, like a faux shiplap look on it. So that's what's on the other side of these. They look like this. And then we're just gonna flip this over and use the back. Really neat way to kind of get a two-in-one use out of decor pieces that you hand make like this. So all you have to do is use a marker, uh, any color or even a pen, whatever works for you and you have on hand already to write what you're thankful for on each one of the pumpkins.
This next idea is great if you're kind of limited on space or just want something cute to keep for years to come. And that is just a mason jar from Dollar Tree along with these chalkboard labels. And then I also have one of their Jenga games. So these are the little wood pieces that come from out of there. And then I have some jute to dress it up. Uh, this is a white chalk marker that I'm gonna use to write on the chalkboards. And then a black marker that you can use to write all of the things you're thankful for on the little Jenga pieces. And now this next idea is something I thought would be cute to make a little centerpiece with and or even little place settings. So you could use these at each one of the place settings if you wanted, but if you gather them all together, it would be cute as a centerpiece too. So these burlap pumpkins here are from Dollar Tree and these smaller ones came in a bag from Hobby Lobby. They were really, really inexpensive. And then I also have my jute and we're gonna use that to tie on some tags onto each pumpkin. So I have cardstock here, scissors, and a marker. So all I'm gonna do is cut down this cardstock into different size tags. So I want bigger ones for the bigger pumpkins, smaller ones for the smaller pumpkins. And I think I'm gonna use the craft paper for these over here and the white cardstock for these here, just so there's some little, a little bit of contrast. All right, so it's really, really easy to make tags on your own. I'm using a paper trimmer here. If you don't have a paper trimmer, you don't have to use one. You can just use scissors, but this makes everything square so it looks nice and neat. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tag for the bigger pumpkins first. So I think I'm gonna make these about, let's say an inch and a quarter big. So I'm just gonna cut a rectangle. And then I'm gonna cut this big rectangle down to smaller ones. So I think I'm gonna do these about, let's say two and a half inches long. And then we have a smaller rectangle. So now all I have to do is take my scissors and cut off two of the corners on the same end, just like this. Now, if I had a hole punch, I would hole punch right there. I can't seem to find mine. And so I'm just gonna use my scissors. I have real pointy ends on the scissors. So you just wanna make a little hole in the top of the tag so that you can feed your jute through there. And then tie that onto the top of your pumpkin. It would look a lot nicer if you used a hole punch, so I would suggest that if you have one, even Dollar Tree carries them. I must have misplaced mine. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut down some more of these tags, the same size for the bigger pumpkins, and then I'll use the craft paper here and make smaller sized ones, so smaller than this to fit on the smaller pumpkins. But I may make these a little bit longer since they aren't gonna be as wide. They'll be longer so there'll be more room to write on them.
All right, so I have all of the pumpkins done. Of course, you'd wanna leave these blank, so maybe write thankful for and then let your guests fill them out. I wanted to give you a few ideas on different ways you could take this idea and use them. So here I have a place setting, so it'd be really pretty if you added a pumpkin on top of your place settings, and then each guest could fill their own pumpkin out. This is just a placemat that I have from Hobby Lobby, and then a wooden plate, and just, this is just a towel that I had just to make it look pretty for you, but that's an idea. And then you could also use these as a centerpiece. So I have a pumpkin pie plate here, my Ray Dunn, um, but you could use a bowl and kind of pile these in, add some extra little accessories and leaves in there. That's why I have these sitting out. So I have some burlap leaves from Dollar Tree and some uh, cotton stems that you could sort of tuck into all of the pumpkins and make it look nice and full. I also have this old tool crate or carrier here that would be cute. I also have an old dough bowl that you could use. So different ideas of how you could create it and make it into a centerpiece. joining me for today's tutorial. I hope that everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving day. Now tomorrow morning on Thanksgiving day, I will actually have a bonus video coming out. So make sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when that video is released. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button next to me. I have more great DIY tutorials below that. You can find me on Facebook and on Instagram for more inspiration. And I'll see you all next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye everyone.